Hi, my name is Mike Montgomery, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a longboard. Whew, just like this on Modern Builds. Now don't forget, I'll be providing all of the product links as well as a template to the board on my website, modernbuilds.com, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So if you download the template from my website, this is what it's going to look like, and you'll print out the five pages, and you'll want to make sure you say, do not fit to page when you print it. And I sort of underestimated how much wood I was going to need and kind of had to overlap each side. Once I had the two halves, I ran them through the table saw. That way I had two clean edges to glue up. If I had a joiner, I would have used it. I made sure and used a lot of glue and a lot of clamps. That way I had a good glue joint. And if you want to use a biscuit joiner, this is the time to do it. Once the glue had dried, I ran it through the planer a couple times. And then I mixed up some epoxy and filled in a couple holes where there's some knots in the wood. Then I was able to plane the board down to its final thickness. Lining up the template was actually really easy because I have a center mark on the template and all I had to do was line that up with the center of my glue joint. I decided to cut the board out with a jigsaw instead of the bandsaw. That way I wouldn't have to try and wrestle that board around. Instead, I could just move the jigsaw. And I could use the disc sander to get it up to the line. I used a round over bit on the bottom as well as the top, except I just used a lot thicker one on the bottom. And now that the woodworking was done, I could start on my paint job. I was able to make a marking tool so that the edge of my masking tape was equidistant from the edge of the board all the way around by just hot gluing one piece of wood to another and then a razor blade to that. I know there's marking tools out there that pretty much do this, but I kind of made this one up on the fly and it worked really well. If you lay down a couple coats of spray lacquer before you put on the spray paint, it'll actually give you a lot cleaner of a line when you peel off the masking tape. And I put on a couple coats of spray lacquer after all the paint had dried. Then all I had to do was mark and drill out the holes for the trucks. Now I always have issues whenever I use spray adhesive to put on a template, but if you use this Goo Gone and let it soak in for a second, the template peels off way, way easier. Now there's people that are way better at putting on grip tape than I am, but essentially you just put it on, run a screwdriver around the edge so that it has good contact, and then trim it off with a razor blade. My edge was not perfect, and yours probably won't be either if you don't do this very often. But once I was done, all I had to do was install the trucks and wheels, and it was done. Now this was a solid wood board. I know a lot of people are gonna say you're not supposed to use solid wood, you're supposed to use plywood, stuff like this on a skateboard, but I know there's plenty of people that make and there's plenty of people that ride these types of boards and they love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I wanna say welcome and subscribe because I put out a new project video every week and you'll definitely wanna check those out. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below and I'll make sure and get back to you. Don't forget to check out the follow-up article on my website and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds.